Hi guys, I'm Ray Cabradilla and I'm a wedding portrait and food photographer from the Philippines. And I talk about photography tips and editing tutorials. So if you're into that, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell to receive new video updates. Okay, so I did a video about tips on how to do a virtual photo shoot a few weeks ago. And if you haven't seen it yet, please do watch it. It will give you more context on this current video. I'll be leaving a link down below. Today, we are doing another virtual photo shoot with a very special guest. She is an international TV presenter and events host, a podcaster, musician, and a digital creative. She is Miss Joy Spring now also known as Mrs. Srivinia. Just a little backstory on how we met. I actually met Joyce a couple of months ago when we were planning for their prenup shoot with Juancho Trevino. And we did it together with Oli Ruiz from Metro Photo. We both did their prenup shoot in Chargao and since then we were able to connect and keep in touch. And I'm so glad that we did this virtual photo shoot together to just keep ourselves creative and productive during this time. In this video, I'll be talking about my realizations and limitations when doing a virtual photo shoot. Okay, so let's start. Here are a few pros and cons that I've learned when doing a virtual shoot. Hi, Joyce. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Uh, no props. Kaya natin problems. Yes. <laughs> so I want you to... <laughs> Position the camera in front of your uh, no, piano area. Oh! First, your subject or model has to move and do everything themselves on their end. As much as I want to help during the shoot, I'm just limited to my screen. Yes. It's my first time doing this. Pardon my uh, <laughs> being an idiot. <laughs> No, this is really this is really very challenging talaga for for the models because no one else is helping them as much as I want to. Parang, yeah, it's extra challenging for you guys. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Do you want me to put it higher? Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's this better. better. That's better. That's nice. Kaya mo ba to lean um, yeah. next to your painting? Because I can't physically be there, I was able to practice directing properly by being clear with my words so she could understand my instructions better. Look at the camera. Can you try parang um, leaning on the keys of the keyboard. Yeah, and, oh, I like, like this. Yeah, that's nice. And then looking outside. Good. Do you have a mirror with you? I do have a mirror. Kaya ko to really, yeah, promise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's here now. Then chin down a little bit. Parang yung plain wall lang. I just want to focus on your face, and then I'll build some art on it. Yeah. Okay, that's better. I actually like that. Na parang you're just fixing your hair. Nice. Bad internet connection can cause delays and lose momentum during your shoot. We had a couple of lull moments or time where we had to wait for the connection to be better again. So you really have to be patient during the shoot. Yan, wait ha. You're loading. <laughs> Teka lang. Hello, Joyce. We're both back. <laughs> yeah. Invested ako dito sa shoot natin, Rie. Okay. <laughs> Prepared na pretty. Ano kita ka love? Prepared. On the flip side, if you do have good internet connection, you can shoot anyone from 
any location. Here I'm shooting Joyce who's in Manila and I'm currently here in Cebu. So just make sure you have good internet connection. Let's do the one with the plants where you're behind. There! Third con is you will get low quality photos. Because when you're shooting with any video app, it doesn't have the DSLR or mirrorless camera capabilities. I realized that gear is only secondary to a person's skill. I took these photos by just using my laptop and taking screenshots. Don't make gear limit you from taking good photos. You can always create good photos with practice. The fourth con is you can't fully achieve what you have envisioned. Because of that, it challenges your creativity. And because I didn't get the best quality, it allowed me to focus more on composition and my creativity. The quality is not as good, but we can do this art. <laughs> To compensate for the quality, I added a bit of graphics by using Photoshop to create new art with my photos. That's it! I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you want to know more about Joyce, she regularly shares motivational videos and podcasts on adulting with Joyce Spring. And you can find her on YouTube and on Spotify. Now, I'd like to announce our giveaway winner from last week's collaboration video with Kids Kitchen. Congratulations for winning these yummy goodies by Kids Kitchen. Thank you so much to everyone who joined. We really appreciate your participation. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. It will really help to support this channel. I'll see you in the next video.